Hello, Health and PE classes. This is Mr. Utter here. I wanted to give you an overview of the health continuum. The health continuum is a graphic way to look at uh, levels of health and fitness, and to kind of analyze where you're at on a on, on the spectrum of health and fitness. On one end, there is the high level of health. On the other end, there is death. If you look at the side going towards death, the first bullet is no energy. This, this is where people go throughout the day and always feel tired, sluggish, you know, feel like something's wrong with them. After that is chronic disease. These are diseases like uh, reoccurring diseases um, such as uh, HIV, AIDS, cancers, um, emphysema, um, COPD, and then after chronic disease is death. The stuff you do forces you this way. If you have bad habits like smoking, it sends you a step towards no energy. You continue to smoke over many years, it sends you towards chronic disease such as emphysema. You continue to do that bad habit, emphysema could lead to death. Okay, Same thing going towards a high level of health. First bullet, free of pain. Um, that's where you go throughout your day, you don't have any, any nagging injuries that bother you, you, you don't have any pain. The next level is optimal health, that's where we should all be shooting for. Um, and after that is a high level of health. The things you do can force you towards a high level of health. If I'm eating healthy, I take a step towards high level of health. If I'm exercising, avoiding tobacco, alcohol, drugs, um, low fat diet, all these things that these lifestyle habits force you one way or the other. Um, as, as we talk about the health continuum, um, you, it's two arrows pointing opposite directions. Uh, if I live a healthy life, and, and for the most part, I eat right, exercise, uh, avoid you know risky behaviors, it forces me towards a high level of health. If I do not, um, if I have you know unhealthy behaviors, you know un, an unhealthy lifestyle, if I, I, I'm doing risky behaviors. Um, it forces me towards a lower level of health and fitness and potentially death. For example, you know, having unprotected sex takes you a step towards chronic diseases such as HIV and AIDS. HIV and AIDS takes you a step towards death or an unhealthy life uh, and potentially death. Um, eating a high-fat, greasy cholesterol diet with no exercise. Each one of these forces me towards a lower level of fitness. Um, your job as a young uh, student um, is to try to do as many healthy habits as you can which will take you towards that healthier lifestyle. Me as a, a teacher I feel like you are right in the center. You're young enough to where you haven't done so many bad things or good things that forces you one way or the other. The stuff you do starting now can force you towards a high level or a low level. If you are doing multiple unhealthy uh, activities such as drinking and smoking um, and eating an unhealthy diet, you take bigger steps to getting chronic diseases sooner. Um, if you are here, make wise decisions, make healthy decisions, force you to this level. Me as a teacher, I feel like I'm just below free of pain, basically, because I have a bunch of nagging injuries, you know, old injuries, shoulder injuries, but all the other stuff I do kind of keeps me from going that direction. Okay, if you have questions, shoot me an email. Um, use Remind. Shoot me a text on Remind. Um, and we'll go from there. Thanks. Have a good day.